To make our butterfly wings, we're gonna start out with just a regular paper towel. It, does, it can be any paper towel, you can see mine says Bounty, and washable markers or watercolors, but um, washable markers are really great because uh, the kids can color as much as they want and then you get to add water to it and I'll show you how. So we're just gonna let the kids color and draw however they want and um, they might go through the paper towel but that's okay because um, that's a learning experience and they might realize that I shouldn't push and tear through the paper towel and you know paper towels are well they're in demand right now but they're not that expensive that if they do kind of go through it, it's not that big of a deal. You're gonna see that I am mostly sticking with colors that go together because um, then I'm not gonna get brown. But even if I did throw in a color that uh, doesn't necessarily go together, when I say go together, I mean they would mix to make a color like red and yellow mixed to make orange so I can re use reds and oranges and yellows and pinks. And those are all gonna make, um, look really good when they mix together. Uh, but if I throw in a cool color like a blue or a green, it's not a big deal. It's just, um, it's gonna kind of like, you know, mix together and that's a learning experience. You'll get to see what that looks like when they mix together. Uh, but I'm kind of going in, I guess you could say rainbow order. Let's see, let's throw in like blue and orange. When they mix, they make brown, but let's put them together and just see what happens. And the kids, you know, they don't care. They're just, they think brown artwork is just as beautiful as, um, as any other artwork, but sometimes we like to have it, you know, go together and look pretty purple and green or another ones that they don't necessarily always go together, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so then I'm gonna put it in a tray. The tray or a cookie uh, pan would work really well too. And I'm just gonna take clear, clean water and a paintbrush. And I'm gonna let the kids brush water on the paper towel. And we're gonna see what happens when the paper towel gets wet and absorbs the water. Okay, so when your child is painted the whole paper towel, uh, we've done this in class where we're like, oh, we're gonna cover the whole thing. And so they definitely understand and can have the patience to cover up all of the spaces. And I'll say, look, this spot's still dry. Let's make that wet. Um, you're gonna let your paper towel dry. You could set it in the sun on the cookie sheet. You um, can do other ones while one is drying because they're gonna have a lot of fun with these. You could hang them up in the window and they'll dry even faster and it's just gonna wipe off if any pigment gets on the, on the window. And then, um, or you can dry it with a um, hair dryer, which is actually what I'm gonna do right now so that I can show you the next step. Okay, now that our paper towel is dry after we colored it, and um, painted it with water. Remember, you can also do this with watercolor and just let them have fun or homemade watercolor with food coloring. Then we're gonna turn it into a butterfly. Now I'm going to probably do it this way. I could just take it like that, scrunch it up the middle, and um, I'm going to take a, a um, pipe cleaner and I'm gonna put it down the middle. I just fold it in half 
And I like to leave a little bit of distance before I twist it and um, make my little antenna. And that's our butterfly. And you can put that in the window because these look really great with just light shining through. Or you can um, hang them around the house. Uh, you can also trim the edges if you want to make it more like um, butterfly looking. Curve them a little bit. But, you know, I kind of like it just um, with the kids as doing as much as they can. Also, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can use a um, just a twisty tie and make a little butterfly like that. All right, so I hope you guys have fun. I look forward to seeing colorful butterflies. And um, also other ideas to do with colorful paper towels is you can just cut them into shapes and put them in the windows. They make really great window art. You guys have a great day.